Hello everybody, I'm Danny, and welcome back to Nancy Drew, the Shattered Medallion. So we just started in our last episode, and now we have unlocked one of the new locations, and so now we're going to explore. Here's some sheep. It's locked. Oh no. Alright, so we'll keep going straight. We have like a little trail marker. All right, now we are by the water, so I think we should be able to get... That's one that looks kind of like a shrimp. <laughs> All right, so is that saying I can't go in there? I really can't just move those out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, it's so All right, pretty. Rope bridge. It looks pretty dangerous. You sure you want to do this? Uh, more than I've wanted to do anything. What is it? Is something wrong? Yes? George! As she stands there. Last time on Pacific Run, the world watched in stunned horror as tragedy struck George Fane. Today, a dark mood hangs over New Zealand as the remaining contestants grapple with the loss of such a brave young woman from this season's cast. <laughs> Luckily for Miss Fane and our lawyers, she's resting comfortably and hopefully not feeling too litigious. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. No matter what, we're going to win for you. That's sweet of you, but you don't need to. And we'll find out what happened with the bridge. Okay, that might be nice. I'm sorry you don't get to compete. I know how much you were looking forward to it. I'll get to watch, at least. Which reminds me, I have a producer feed. So, I just have to go to the television over there to hear them? Yeah, and hey, take this. Just in case you need to sneak back and catch up. It's a key to the producer area. Just don't get caught. Are you proposing I cheat? No, just something odd is going on here. We might need to bend the rules. Okay. Well, I do like bending rules. I know you do. Are you sure you want to help? This is a lot to do alone. Bess has volunteered to help. Bess? Bess Marvin. <laughs> say hello to our newest contestant, Bess Marvin. Let's hear what she's got to say for herself. I'm going to die here. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. And we continue Pacific Run New Zealand. All right, Lena. How goes it? You and Patrick are a very unique couple. I know what you're getting at. He's got a depth most people don't see. Even he isn't aware of it sometimes. Mm. I can see something there. Don't get any ideas. Jesus. Sure, let's be friendly. Want to team up? Nah, I'm good. It's easy enough, I guess. I'll let you go. Okay, bye. Bess. Hello. Oh, you look worried. I look worried? I know you're upset, but everything will be fine. You do know that George is the cautious, capable one. That doesn't mean something bad is going to happen to you. Don't use your logic voice on me if you're not going to use your logic... logic. Fine, you might get hurt. Bess? Please go back to lying to me. Honestly, whatever happens, I've got your back. <laughs> Later. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. All right. Find a way to visit George. We already did. But I am anxious to get back to... Hey, come over here. Ew. I'm so sorry about George. Thanks. Looks like she's going to be okay. Same with Aaron. I heard she tried to save George. She did. Are you going home? No, going on alone. You? Bess is joining me. The blonde with the day glow camo? Good luck with that. Hey, Bess is great. Nancy, I'm teasing you. At the end of the day, this is a game. As much as I love trash talk, that's all it is. I have a proposal for you. I'm listening. You and I should form an alliance. 
Right, but at the end there can only be one winner. So what's the overall plan? Yes, McLeod. But I don't need to win. I need to stay around long enough to get screen time. I promised my agent I'd make it to the finals. You have an agent? Yep. Well, that's surprising, but I suppose I might be open to the thought of working together. Good. Here's something. Consider it a show of good faith. Sonny June, the producer, he's not supposed to be the one running the show. What do you mean? I heard a conference call. Apparently, he trashed the travel paperwork for the actual crew. For real? For real, yes. Jesus. Also, if Nancy was there, she would have seen Aaron or whatever try to save George, so I don't know why she's like, I heard. How did you get started in reality television? A dating show called Sleepless. Huh, haven't heard of it. Basically, you'd go on a date after staying up for 24 hours straight. We went skiing, he died. What? Later, in a boat thing. Unrelated. But I met the producer of the show and we hit it off. And that reality became my reality. Alright. What did you do before reality TV? This, that, aerial arts paid the bills. I can't say I know what that means. You know those arty French circuses? Oh, yeah. I did that. Never made the poster, but always made rent. Eventually. Ish. <laughs> Why did you stop? One day, you put on the spandex and the mirror glass coated antlers and it hits you. What hits you? It's sort of a specific feeling. The day before, I saw myself as an artist. The next day, I saw myself as absurd. So I quit. Interesting. Where were you right before the bridge collapsed? In the confessional booth. Can you prove that? Maybe Sonny can? Why did you dedicate your life to being on trashy TV? You play it fast and loose with the judgments, don't you? <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean. You're smart and talented. <laughs> Talent? No. <laughs> I'm not talented. I was raised to believe I was, and so were all my classmates. Well, everyone is special in different ways. No. Everyone's different. Very few people are special. And this is what led you to TV? This is what got me up every day at four to take the bus into the city as a kid. Modern dance? I was good. Not good enough. I've got the drive and all that business. Just not the talent. Just a lifetime of coming in second. TV gave you a way to win? It gave me something where it didn't matter either way. Something to burn off the energy. I'm a greyhound. Fame is a cruel sport. But I have a need to run. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to work with you. You won't regret this. You'll regret something else. What? Excuse me? Goodbye. Bye. I didn't like the sound of that. Nancy Drew. I heard a rumor that you're not supposed to be the one running the show. That's true. Well, what's the story? The main producer plane was diverted, and their passport paperwork was filed incorrectly. And who was behind that? Me. I was, uh... Little overconfident in my knowledge of airport codes. Can I see footage of the bridge collapse? The footage was uh, destroyed, not in a fire, but in a magnetic thing. All of it? Yes. Is it okay if I check? No. Mm, don't like that. Talk to you later. See ya. Everyone is just making such a good impression right now. <laughs> All right. Let's head out. Go back to the waterfall. Accidents will happen. The old bridge may have gone down, but a new and improved version will rise in its place. The new bridge is nearly ready for the finishing touches, but it's up to you to test the strength of the new design. Starting at the blue square, see if the bridge is strong enough to support you in your journey. Step on each remaining square exactly once, ending at the red square. You can step forward, back, up, or down a distance of one or two squares per step. This puzzle is a tad bit insensitive, considering... Yeah, yeah it is. Um, let's go down. I 
can only go up for this. I may have fucked that. Just doing this randomly now. Okay. I need to make sure that this is able to be. So I can't touch either of these until the very end. So I'm gonna go. Okay. Go us. We're amazing. Waterfall fern. Stage one has been completed. What? I need to put my Another flowers away. Another exciting round comes to a close on Pacific Run, New Zealand. Team Kia has returned the first medallion. Remaining teams still have a chance to place their medallions for second place. The brain from abroad easily holds down victory, while her partner continues to hold down a big old rock. In a surprise twist, by which I mean surprising to those of us who should be running the show, location producer Sunny June has decided to bend the rules for Team Tui, sparing them some elimination. So Team Tui, enjoy the good luck, and Sunny June, don't make us come down there, young man. Team Matata was not so lucky and will be rowing the kayak of shame out to Loser Atoll, where they will sit among sheep and reflect on their elimination until the competition comes to a close. Like, I feel like I remember that being, um... Hmm. Something that was a complaint about the game. Like, no matter when you do stuff, like... Every team is gonna get stuff a certain way. It's not like if you actually had gone faster, we could have gotten something, but eh. Stage two, ready, Gra get a bag, shear a sheep, and drop the bag of wool in the bin in the wool shed to earn your next medallion. Okay, so let's put our flowers away just so we can get our medallion. Okay. Cockabeak. It's cockabeak the one with like the plant. Uh, fuck. This is a waterfall fern. I need to put the plants in the correct vases. Spider orchid, I believe. Golden sand sedge. Sand domes. Weaving crafts, that would be a basket. Yeah. One medallion down. Go team Tui. Insert our medallion. Oh. Now we have gotten some points. Yay. Okay. Now we have to complete the wool challenge. Which I believe in the auction house there was a bag. And we like lost points for it, but we needed the bag. 
and we need to go shear sheep. So we have to head out to Mossburn. Shearing equipment. Oh. Need help? Call a friend. Phone access and a map password awarded to those who solve the Puzzle Palace's latest challenge. I need to get the totals to add up to 20. Oh boy. Okay, so. I don't get it. Oh, it's a hinge like this. So, like, eliminate some numbers? No, because I need the three there. Okay, 20. That's only 15 now. I want Things I need to take out 12. Then that's 25. I, oh, but I said I need to take out 12 so I can have that done. Thirty-three, so now I need to lose thirteen. Okay, twenty twenty. Cool. This needs to lose 2, and that needs to lose 15. Oh, this needs more though. Seven is twenty. Twenty. This fifteen needs to go away from both of these. Oh shit. Um. 
Oh, it's kind of a layering thing. I get it. Because now this eight needs to go away. Okay, there we go. Got some little sheepy shavers. I need a key to get this working. Hmm. I just have to find a key, apparently. We have a display of a bunch of cute little sheepies. Taylor, Mount Cook, 3373. Sheepies? Don't try. A flint? No, okay. This must be the sheep to shear. I need to get the shearing machine powered on and working. The blades on the shearing machine need to be replaced. I can handle that. Can we? Hmm. I'll need to turn the power on first. Is this supposed to be a live sheep? Uh, it doesn't this look must like be it. where the bag of wool needs to go. You got it. Coco Kringle Bar. A Ray Teapot Pumpkin. So some uh, fan stuff going on there. Hmm. And I need hmm. a key. Is there a key somewhere? Am I missing it? this key. I know this is stuff that's gonna go for our sheep labeling. But right now I'm just trying to figure out where this key is supposed to be. I don't think it'll be anywhere past the actual sheep area. I feel like it would be like in this box or something, but we don't have stuff to do that puzzle yet. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, Luna's running around with a the bag that a tea bag comes in that was like on the counter when Eric had tea and she's just running around and throwing it everywhere and chasing it so she's fucking nuts basically. Um, oh, okay, I can't go any further so I just want to make sure. Okay, um... I have no idea where this key is supposed to be, so I guess... I guess we'll just head back and do this phone challenge. Check! Okay. 
Excuse me. Let's see if I can find all the words. Word search, yay. Um. We're getting digging this music. And now the question is, is this a they can go in any direction word search or no? Um Kia Aura. Yay. Um I saw Hana and I was like, oh well, Hana. Apparently not. Let's find some WHs. W H Nope. W H K no W H Wakiro. Oh, that is one. W H Cool. And then we have Wano and Wenua. So now we can find if we find like a or o a n or a o n that kind of stuff would be helpful. That movie that just came out? <laughs> and M O A N A. M O A N A. I'm trying to find all my M's out. Oh, there we go. Tuku Tuku. That one's going to be a very long one. this word. H-A-R-I. That's part of another word. H-A-N-G-E. Um, it says it's not in. Oh my god, it's literally like spelled out in the first part of the puzzle. Awesome. 
Harry May. H A E R E. So now I have to look for an H A again. Ooh. All right, last one, Tamariki. Tamariki. So we need R I K I. sound. That must be the password to the hatch. Okay, I don't really know where they got doubtful sound, but... I only get to call one contact. Not sure if I'm ready to choose yet. Okay. Go us. Alright, and on that note, now that we have unlocked the password to the gotten the password to unlock the hatch, I guess. Uh, I'm going to call that an episode, and if you like what you saw, please feel free to- oh my god. I am sorry, excuse me. Um, please consider hitting like or subscribing, it means a great deal, and it helps me out a whole lot. Um, so thank you so much for watching.